Alright, so, uh, let's talk about another, uh, Toei movie. Third in a row, I know. Um, so, uh, the, these are my thoughts on Doggy March. So, um, this movie stars a, uh, dog named, uh, Rock, who, uh, you know, whose mother is killed by a tiger and, uh, who is assisted by a fox. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, the dog goes out to live in the city so he can become stronger, so he can fight the tiger, um, get some training from these, uh, from this tough gang of dogs, um, you know, like, you know, those, uh, alley dogs, um, <coughs> yeah, a bunch of strays. Um, so yeah, then, uh, and he kind of, uh, the fox comes to the city and, uh, he, like, manipulates this, uh, Tanuki into, uh, into tricking Rock to, uh, come to this warehouse where he, um, well, it's just some, uh, plot that's kind of irrelevant to the overall story, but, uh, uh, so yeah, uh, Rock ends up getting thrown in a barrel, and then Fox throws the barrel into the, into the, the harbor, and, uh, he ends up, uh, getting washed up on this, uh, island with a lighthouse where this little girl lives, and he lives with her for a while, he grows up there, um, and then, let me see, the, uh, animals in the forest where Rock lived, uh, get captured by humans and sent to a zoo. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, for a while it's, uh, nice there because they're, uh, separated from all the ferocious animals. And for some reason, like, uh, you know, the zoo has, like, a tiger, a lion, an elephant, um... A gorilla, a friggin' baboon, um, like all these different, uh, ferocious beasts, um, and a fox. They all live together in the same, um, same, uh, enclosure. So it's kind of, it's kind of funny that they, yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure that there's a reason why the, uh, most zoos keep, uh, lions and tigers and bears oh my uh separated um but yeah uh, but then the fox finds a way to like sneak into uh the other enclosures and he uh yeah he finds like a sewer grate or something and uh yeah uh so yeah he goes into the other enclosures and captures all the little animals and uh, takes them to uh, his master the tiger um, so <coughs> let's see um, and then uh, back on the island uh, rock over here some birds talking about the you know what the tiger is doing at the zoo so he uh, you know, he, uh, returns to the city, and, uh, you know, he, uh, gets help from all the, all the dogs, and, you know, they, uh, head out to fight the enemies, all the ferocious beasts, so we have, like, all these dogs, like, beating up a lion and an elephant, okay, the elephant was, uh, wasn't, well, anyway, yeah, they're beating up all these animals that are, like, that should rip any dog apart, but, I guess there's a, a message uh, in there like, you know, when dogs work together, they can even take down an elephant or something like that. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, then there's, there's a rather, you know, after they take out all the other beasts, there's a rather drawn out climax. Um, yeah, so that's two Toei movies in a row with a rather drawn out climax, although uh, I will say... Uh, at least this time it was more interesting because it, like, involved, like, a carnival and a roller coaster and, you know, there's 
there's some good like cartoon you know some uh, some nice slapstick and stuff um, so yeah I, and there's some really nice animation in this movie um, wasn't always consistent but uh, but yeah there was uh, Yes, there were some parts where the animation looked really nice and fluid, and I think it might have had something to do with uh, a certain animator they had on board, and uh, his name it was Hayao Miyazaki. So, uh, you might know that name. Um, you know, he started a company called Studio Ghibli and uh, went on to make some really uh, highly respected uh, Japanese animators films um so yeah this was uh pretty much where Miyazaki got his start so uh yeah so that's a nice little fun fact um and yeah this was a pretty fun movie for what it was it was uh, silly at times but uh you know I I thought it was pretty enjoyable um I'm not sure if I would call it the best Toei movie so far. Yeah, I'd still say probably the best ones I've seen some from them so far are like the first three they've done. But I'm sure that they have more to come that are that will be better. Because I mean, <coughs> yeah. So uh, do I have much else to say? I mean, uh, the. The characters were likable, not like super interesting or every or anything, but uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, um, but yeah, they were the characters were fine. Uh, definitely more interesting than the Sinbad movie. Um, so yeah, I'd say this one was good enough to give an eight out of ten, um, and yeah, definitely check this out if you're interested. Um, I guess, uh, I can't think of anything else to talk about, but, uh, as usual, that's what the comment section, well, yeah, that's, uh, what I use the comment section in these videos for, to add any details I might, uh, have forgotten. So, yeah, uh, I guess that's about all, all I have to say for now, so Mash It and Smash It, signing off.